I'm so excited about this new show premiering this Sunday on Fox and so excited to talk with this gentleman, Will Forte, last man on earth. Uh, we had you on the show, uh, Good Day Austin, about a year and a half ago promoting a film, but now we've got your new uh, show, which just looks hilarious from the clips I've seen. Congratulations on it in advance, Will. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it, it is a show about a guy who finds himself, there, there is a virus that is uh, swept across the world and, and taken the lives of, of everybody and I play the guy who's immune to that virus and I'm trying to figure out what to what to do with myself now. Um, <laughs> that's kind of how it starts and then it takes a, a bunch of twists and turns. I, I would... Uh, riveting? But I've, you know, I'm part of the show so I can't say riveting but... No, I think you can. I, I would I Some of the clips. Know. I don't know. Clips That's for I, you to judge. I would go absurdly hilarious in some of these brief clips. And I, and I know I'm red. Oh, as, thanks. Yeah, I would. And if we get into it, maybe some bittersweet moments when you realize, you know, the last man on earth. But I, I know you started off or, or involved yeah. writing the project before you even knew you'd be uh, in it. Uh, it's got to be crazy to think where you're going to take yeah. someone and what you'd do if you were the last person, last man on earth. Yeah, it, you know, the, the, uh, the guys that I uh, thought this up with, they're the, they did the Lego movie and 21 and 22 Jump Street, so, so I've known them for a long time and we decided we wanted to try to write something together. And you know, you can't, you can't work with two better guys who are more talented and funny than Chris and Phil. So uh, you know, we just spent so much time thinking about this scenario and you just realize, you know, God, what would you do? <laughs> you, I, I, you, you take for granted uh, how everything worked. I, I, I wouldn't know how, how uh, you know, w w toilets work or what do you do about electricity? There are just so many things you wouldn't have access to anymore and wouldn't have the knowledge to, uh, to, to fix. So, yeah. so it's, uh, you know, it's a very interesting situation. We yeah. tried to approach it, um, you know, from, from that angle. Like, what would you actually do if, if you were in that situation. And, and we're asking. And this show yeah. uh, answers that. And uh, one thing you do is eat a lot of Twinkies. We were just talking about this before we did the interview. I'm holding a last man on earth hostess Twinkie. Twinkie again, playing a key role in the show. Those are good anytime, even if you're not the yes. last man on earth, but I guess especially if you are, because it kind of comforts and remembering a bygone era. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those Twinkies, you can eat whatever you want to now. So. So just have an all Twinkie diet. You can do whatever. Maybe an extra drink or two, I understand, from the show. Well, uh, we've got, uh, as you know, South by Southwest coming up. I guess we've got a special Last Man on Earth uh, Twitter vending machine at South by Southwest where we can, uh, people can participate and say what they would do if they were the last man on Earth. So a lot of interactive ways to be uh, involved awesome. with the I'm show. I'm coming out. I, I think we're, we're coming out there, me and, and Chris and Phil. Oh, very uh, cool. On the 15th? I think it's the 15th. Yeah, Might the, be the 16th. The, the vending machine, I'm so excited. <laughs> as I'm Love reading Austin. this, the vending machine spits out a lot of uh, potential prizes, including some big prizes, but also Twinkies, which you like when you're out and about on South by Southwest. So very excited about that. And I guess... My friend got a $250 uh, uh, airplane voucher. That's pretty cool. It works. It's real. That's, <laughs> that's almost as good as a uh, Last Man on Earth Twinkie. Yeah. Got to ask you real quick, since we are on Good Day Austin, how would, how would the Last Man on Earth have a good day. What 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 does he do? Oh man, I mean, a lot of the things I do in the show are things that I would want to do if I was in this situation. It generally is breaking stuff. <laughs> it's you know, <laughs> I, I get to roll over things in a steamroller and use a flamethrower. That's not the only thing that's in the show, but but that's a big part of it. It's just uh, you know doing these. N nothing, nothing major, you know. Bowling, bowling outside at, at lamps and <laughs> stuff like that. Because the rules are there are no rules, and so every last man on earth is going to have their exactly seven-year-old fantasies of breaking stuff coming out. It, it again, it looks so funny. I cannot yes. wait to watch it. It premieres this Sunday. Last man on earth, Will Forte. Good luck uh, with the show, and we look forward Thank to you seeing, very much. seeing you down here in Austin in a few days. I can't wait to come back.